What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because it's that time again where I get to show you guys the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX collection. Now this binder alone right over here is worth about $14,000 and I'm going to be showing you guys stuff outside of just this binder but this binder alone is worth about $14,000 maybe everything in together maybe about $15,000 so we're just going to say $15,000 collection at the moment. It's very close to being complete. So if you guys do enjoy these videos though make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content just like this one. If you guys want to see more collection videos, mail day videos, duels, deck profiles, all that good stuff, it's going to be here on the channel. We upload five days a week. Now, like I said, this collection right here is almost done. It's not done just yet. And you guys are going to see what I mean by that when we get into the video. So I hope you guys stick around. There's a lot of cool stuff I want to be showing you guys in today's video. And with that, let's get into the collection. All right, so just before we get into it, I do want to say that it is kind of fitting that we're doing this on this playmat over here. The playmat that I have signed by Jaden Yuki's voice actor himself. And then eventually I want to get them signed by all of these guys. But however, you know it had to be Jaden first. So Jaden's on here. So it's only, it's only fitting, right? But this is the GX collection. Here's the full binder. It's actually getting kind of thick. I'm not going to lie. You guys can probably see it's getting kind of thick. $14,000 though, it should be getting kind of thick. I'll be real. So anyways, we're going to open this up and I'm going to show you guys the first page here. So if you guys haven't seen these collection videos before or any of the updates, I'm just going to explain it real quick. The fusion monsters here are in the order that they appeared in the anime. So they're not necessarily in the order that they were released in the card game. Although I guess it follows a similar pattern probably. So uh, here is the very first card. The very first fusion monster Jaden used. It's a gold stamp elemental hero flame wingman signed by Jaden Yuki's voice actor himself. If you guys don't know the difference between a gold stamp and a silver stamp, essentially all first edition cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! Over here, this little eye of Anubis stamp usually is gold. However, there was a case where essentially upper deck made a flame wingman in first edition as a promo card and it's a silver stamp so that card is technically a fake it's like the realest fake you'll ever find though because it is a real card made by upper deck which at this time upper deck was making the cards however they just did it essentially without konami's permission so here's a little throwback to the flame wingman and a little history lesson if you guys didn't know that my favorite card of all time the entire reason that i even collect Yu-Gi-Oh is because of this one card so the fact that i own a gold stamp i want to get a second one as well actually but the fact that i have a gold stamp is it's incredible to me and then i'm not going to go show you guys every single card i want to show you guys some of the cooler cards thunder giant i think was one of my favorite fusion monsters not i think i know was one of my favorite fusion monsters for the longest time so ultimate rare first edition now there's some that i'm missing here i think it's like rampart blaster wild edge some of the other ones i don't remember exactly the the which goes and where i have a document for it but yeah i don't have it off the top of my head however here we get into oh we get into a big bad boy so this one was essentially my most recent acquisition and this card right here the elemental hero shining flare wingman is actually worth by itself like 1.1k now if you guys never saw any of my nats vlogs it was the last day of nats we were all about to leave the event you know the room was empty pretty much and some guy comes up to us and says hey is anyone interested in an ulti first shining flare wingman and then and my friend Alpha and my friend Richard pointed at me and they're like, him. So I, I I made a deal with it. I made a deal with the guy and I just love that I have this card in my collection. You guys can see that not everything in here is near mint. However, this one, absolutely nothing wrong with it. So I'm super happy with this one. This is probably the most expensive card in my collection outside of the next card I'm going to show you guys. So here we have the Wild Wingman, uh, the Necro Shade. Everything in here is maximum rarity, right? So this is probably the only card in terms of value that's close to the Shining Flare, and that's the Elemental Hero Air Neo. So the reason this one has so much value, well, there's actually a couple of reasons. The main reason being that it hasn't been reprinted ever, but essentially I think Konami just forgot about this card, and that's pretty much the main reason. It's never been reprinted. Ultimate Rare First Edition is the highest rarity. As you guys can see, it's not near mint. It has some whitening over here. It has some whitening over here as well. So that's the only reason why I would say Shining Flare is the more expensive card in the collection, except technically I think this in near mint is also, they're very similar in price, very rare cards that you don't find every day. So as we keep going here, I'm gonna show you guys a quick another history lesson remember how i was telling you guys about the flame wingman gold stamp the aqua neos also has a gold stamp but this is a perfect opportunity to show you guys this one is actually a first edition as you guys can see but it's actually a silver stamp so this one is technically a ude fake and i don't have a gold stamp just because i can't find it anywhere so at the moment the silver stamp is holding its spot we have the glow neos here the flare neos some pretty cards over here this one was a pretty recent acquisition. If you guys saw the Mail Day Ultimate Rare, we have the Plasma Vice, which I'm not a huge fan of Secret Rares, but this one hits really nice. GX Era Secret Rares just hit really crazy. More recently, I'm a fan of Ghost Rares, but here we have the Elemental Hero Chaos Neos Ghost Rare. First edition, I think it captures it. Oh, look at that lighting. There you go. 
There's the capturing. This card is absolutely stunning. I need to get the uh, misprint versions. If you guys don't know, there's a misprint version that says Rainbow Dragon on it. That card's stupid expensive. Maybe one day. These are pretty popular now because of the Neo support. These help you hand loop your opponent. So these cards are pretty good right now. And then we pretty much end off with the fusions. This is actually a Neos Wise Man misprint. This card is a not a fusion monster. It's a fusion monster in the anime, but it's not a fusion monster in the TCG. However, in Korea, they misprinted it and put it as a fusion monster. Something I thought was really cool. And then moving on, we have some more Flame Wingmans. This one is actually an ultimate rare, but it's a silver stamp. So you see how it's a first edition silver stamp? I have both a silver stamp as well as a gold stamp. I just wanted to show you guys the difference there. Got some cool stuff here. This is the completed EHC1 hero collection. I mean, not completed. I guess there's no Flame Wing Man here. Speaking of the EHC Flame Wing Man, I have one and it's over here. So this is a PSA 9 limited edition elemental hero Flame Wing Man from EHC1. This card is very valuable. Honestly, I don't really collect graded cards too much. However, I got this at like a really, really good price. So I could not say no to this. And to this day, I have it. You know, I've gotten offers on it. I've gotten really high offers on it, but I'm just kind of holding it down. I don't know. Maybe it's something that I just don't want to move. I, if I, if any chance, you know, someone has a 10 and they want to flip a 10 for a nine plus like some extra trade, I'll do that, I guess. But for now, I'm going to hold it down. And uh, that's pretty much the EHC collection. There's also a Thunder Giant here as well. However, of course, the fusion monsters we wanted to max out on, the ultimate rares are more max. So that's why I have the ultimate rares. These are just the main hero monsters that are all ehc secret rares if you guys want to see i'll just show you guys one of them yeah they're they're really pretty in secret rare here i think the clayman is the most expensive it's probably the rarest one too then we have an ultimate rare blade edge over here card's beautiful you guys i almost have this page done the only card I'm missing is the Wing Karibo. I have the Wing Karibo level 10 here, which is really, really nice ultimate rare first edition. Wing Karibo, I just can't find. They're also really expensive, I'll be honest with you. Here's a Neo secret rare from the tin, signed by Jaden Yuki's voice actor as well. Guys, when I was at Nats, I got as much stuff signed by Jaden Yuki's voice actor as I could. You know, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity, really. It really is. And he's never been to a Yu-Gi-Oh event before. This was his first one. It may be his last. So you know what? I want to take advantage of the opportunity. Here are all the ultimate rare Neo Spatians. Unfortunately, Glow Mouse didn't come as an ultimate rare. I'm so sad about that. That one let me know in the comments which one is your favorite neo spatian for me it's probably dark panther air hummingbird is going to be a close second but i know a lot of people say grand mole or aqua dolphin but yeah these two are probably my favorite and then we have the chrysalis stuff the u bells u bells are really nice we have super rare ultimate rare and then the secret rare over here these ones are absolutely stunning we have this i'm gonna have two more tokens that are missing actually from the ocg so i'm gonna put the tokens here we have a flaming man field center this is the neo swise man the actual printing of it and it's a first edition secret rare then we move on to the spell cards i haven't organized so Unlike this stuff here, so like I said, this stuff is organized by the order of release date in terms of the uh, the fusions. Even the monsters themselves are pretty close to the order of release date versus the spells I kind of just threw in here. So these are all just kind of high rarity spells. We have Ulti First, Transcendent, Ulti Bubble Shuffle, Ulti Spark Blaster, Ulti Skyscraper, Feather Shot here as well. I may just actually organize these by set number if I'm being honest with you, but I'm missing stuff like Miracle Fusion. I have a Skyscraper 2 here, which is nice. Fifth Hope, Neos Force. I have a lot of the good commons in here as well. We have the hero with the hero flash ultimate rare. I think this just looks really nice. The thing is like, it's hard to organize the spells because do I want to put H-E-R-O? Like no, right? Unless I get one of those four page binders in the future, but I really like this at the moment. This is really pretty at the moment. So this is a nice spell page right here. You get into some of the traps here as well. We have a hero barrier ultimate rare. I can't find a hero signal for the life of me. That card is impossible to find. And then yeah, some of the other cool cards. We have a dark catapulter, a card that Jaden used. Another one that I want to get is Rottweiler. It's not a hero card per se, but yeah, it's there. And then we have the evil hero stuff. This stuff is just absolutely beautiful to me and it's not done just yet. My favorite card over here is the evil hero lightning golem. This one I always loved as a kid growing up. The thunder giant, like I said, was one of my favorite fusions. I think the evil hero lightning golem, in my opinion, was actually just a better design than thunder giant. So I really love this card. But I think I'm missing Inferno Wing and Dark Gaia. I think those are the two that I'm missing. The only thing that I'm sad about is Clayman doesn't have its alternate art yet. In the anime, it has an alternate art. We don't have it here in the TCG, but we have these three, so I like those. We have the Ultimate Rare here, the Inferno Prodigy, some nice cards. Then we get into the Destiny Hero stuff. Oh, the Destiny Hero stuff is pretty, but it's very expensive. It's very similar to the Hero stuff where the Elemental Hero stuff is just super high-end, and so is everything pretty much for Destiny Hero. Like Diamond Dude Ulti first, we have a Dreadmaster Ulti first, we have a Dogma over here, Ultimate Rare first edition. Like this stuff is extremely high end and like high rarity i should say and also extremely expensive this card right here was one of the most recent actually probably my most recent destiny hero pickup and that's the destiny hero fearmonger super rare from champion pack this card is impossible to find in good condition i got it at a trade actually at national so 
That was good for me. That was good. And then here we have the Malicious signed by Aster Phoenix's voice actor. Love this card. One of my favorite Destiny heroes. If I'm being honest with you, I really wanted to get Dreadmaster signed. The only thing is with Dress Ma Dreadmaster was I'm like, do I really want to get an Ultimate Rare Dreadmaster signed? Like, I don't know. This card is just so expensive. I'm like, I can't justify it. The Flame Wing Man was different. You guys know what I feel about Jaden, right? But with Aster, you know, did I want to get that signed? I have the CT Plasma here though. Actually, I'm going to show you guys at the back of the binder. I actually have a signed Plasma, which should probably be here really, but whatever. And then here's some more Destiny Hero stuff. Alti Clock Tower Prison, Alti Cyclone Blade, Dark City. Uh, Destiny Draw also here is signed by Aster Phoenix. This is an ultra rare first edition. This is the highest rarity. Then we move away from a lot of the hero stuff. We get into the Chaz stuff. The Chaz stuff here is really cool. We have the Chthonian Soldier, Alliance, and Blast, all ultimate rare first edition. We have the VWXYZ Dragon Cannon Catapult, or Dragon Catapult Cannon, I should say, and it's ultimate rare first edition as well. Beautiful, beautiful card. And then we also have the Arm Dragon Level 10 ultra rare first edition. There's an ultimate rare as well. I think it's in the back of the binder somewhere, but I think the ultra rare first edition is technically higher rarity. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys this in a second. Shout out Neshi. But I want show you guys this Odrama King super beat up ulti first though. Chaz never really had an archetype funny enough. This guy just had a bunch of random decks and so I'm just collecting all the Chaz stuff. I guess Arm Dragon is the thing that he's most famous for. So is Odrama's but yeah it is what it is. Here is the Jesse stuff though. Shout out Neshi. I'm missing the Sapphire Pegasus. It's the only ultimate rare here I'm missing. Otherwise I'm done the uh, Crystal Beast stuff. I have a Rainbow Dragon Ghost Rare first edition. This one was just such a lucky find, to be honest with you. I didn't even like mean to search for this. It just popped up. And a lot of these things just kind of randomly pop up, which is kind of nice, right? So I'm really happy with that one. Ultimate Rare Topaz Tiger. This one I got at a really good price as well. So uh, yeah, sometimes sometimes with these collections, it's, it's nice. You get lucky, right? We have the Ancient City Rainbow Ruins, the Rare Value Ultimate Rares. And then we get into the Cyrus stuff. The Cyrus stuff, luckily enough, is actually not very expensive. It's not very high-end either. There's a few ulties. Like UFO Roid is ulti first. I think got that for like 10 bucks at the time when I got it, maybe less. So a lot, a lot of this stuff is very expensive. Submarine Roid ulti. This one's really cool though. I don't know what's wrong with this one. I don't know if it was a printing error, but like you see how dark this one is. Um, let me get another ultimate rare to like give you guys an example. Here's the UFO Roid, right? I'll show you guys these. Like look how much darker the Submarine Roid is. And I don't know if that's just the printing or if that was just this one card. I don't know, but uh, yeah, it's, it's a really nice ultimate rare. And then we have the ultimate rare Super Vehicle Roid here as well. The secret rare. And then this is one of my favorite archetypes, Society of Light stuff. I love the Arcana Force stuff. I don't know what it is, but of course you have the big three boys here, right? You have the world, you have the light ruler, as well as the dark ruler. These cards, luckily enough, aren't super expensive. I think the world is a little bit pricey, but the rest of them are not too bad. They're all near mint, so that's kind of nice, you know? Being able to collect cards in near mint and not have to break the bank. Well, I mean, I guess you're still breaking the bank. These cards are still pretty expensive. In general, it's like, you know, not having to pay, pay hundreds of dollars for near mint copies is really nice. This is the part that I think I'm gonna finish last because it's just so expensive so here we get into the cyber dragon stuff now cyber end dragon cyber twin dragon and cyber dragon ultimate rare first editions are all like over a thousand dollars i mean maybe i think cyber twin might be a little bit cheaper but near main copies of these two are both over a thousand dollars i don't know if i could shell that out right now right so we have the cyber barrier the cyber the proto cyber and the cyber phoenix here this is all just zane truesdale things we have the cyber dark keel this one i got lucky to get my hands on because this one's really expensive. Shout out the boy Abel, he actually hooked me up with this one. So Cyber Dark Dragon Ultimate Rare First Edition. I was happy with this. We have the Cyber Esper Ultimate Rare. You guys saw that we pulled the Cyber Dragon Ghost Rare here, which is, I mean, I love this card. I think the Ghost Rare is absolutely stunning. But we also have a couple of other cards. This card is sun bleached, so it's kind of like white. So I put it beside the ghost rare because I was like, oh, it's like a ghost rare on the picture, but then a ghost rare on the actual card. I don't know. It's kind of funny. And then this is actually a misprint with um, the most recent structure deck had this misprint. It was where it's like the other card the foiling yeah whatever anyways so then here we get into the volcanic stuff doomfire ultimate rare first edition slicer ultimate rare first edition tri blaze accelerator ultimate rare first edition we have the blaze accelerator this one is really pricey this is a cp super and yeah you guys have seen with uh champion pack super rares are just dumb pricey they're obviously just dumb expensive so uh then we move on to the ancient gear stuff the ancient gear stuff is really really cheap really other than the ancient gear golem itself we have ancient gear beast ultimate rare first edition it's really just golem like golem is the only expensive card but i actually don't have any of the other commons that he uses either i have ancient gear castle here but like ancient gear fist all those random ancient gear spells don't have any of those. I'm slowly starting on the Venom stuff. We have the CR Venomonaga here, but I want a secret rare and I want the ultimate rare Venomenon as well. But again, this stuff, it gets a lot smaller, right? Like it's not as many cards to find. The Claudian stuff over here, this stuff is not really expensive either. Even the ultimate, there's two ultimate rares I think for the deck. And uh, I don't think either of them are very expensive, truthfully. And then here's just extra GX stuff, right? So I'm gonna go through these because these, they have some pretty cool stories and like just pretty cool cards in general. So yeah, you have the Cyber Ogre. I want to get Cyber Ogre number two here as well. Moki Moki, whatever, whatever. Here, 
is uh, a few misprints. So this misprint, let me know if you guys in the comments, if you guys know what this one is, or if you guys have seen this one before, but it's a Korean Avion. They actually forgot to put the attack and the defense stat on this card. So this is a misprint Avion over here. I'm gonna show you guys another misprint. And uh, this misprint over here is a Blade Edge. It's actually in German. However, it's a no name, no indent Blade Edge. So they just completely forgot to write a name on this card. So I think it's just a really cool misprint. I think this one is probably the most valuable of my misprints. I mean, at least on this page, because the, uh, yeah, the Neos Wiseman one, I think is pretty pricey as well. And then two cards I have over here. I'm just going to show you guys one of them. I have a first edition copy. So this is a first edition copy and this is an unlimited copy, but it's the same exact misprint. And this one, I think you guys can see here, instead of saying Blade Edge, it actually says Elemental Hero Edge Man, which is the OCG name for Blade Edge. So this one and this one both have it, but this one's the first edition. This is the unlimited. So uh, I thought that was really cool. And then these are just metal figure ones. This is the misprint from the special edition, I think. It's where it's a secret rare, but it comes with super rare foiling, hobby league. These are not misprints. These are just really cool cards in general. And then, yeah, here I just have Plasma as well as the Shining Phoenix Enforcer signed by Aster's voice actor as well. So these two cards are just like, you know, memorabilia for me, you know? When you so when you have cards signed by like some of your favorite characters, that's really cool. So that's it for the binder, right? But we're not done just at the binder. This binder alone is worth 14,000. Now keep that in mind. The, what I'm about to show you guys is not included in the price. Honestly, once I show you the, all the other stuff, it might come out to like 15-ish thousand. So here is one of my favorite graded cards and that's the PSA 10 Elemental Hero Neos from the 20th anniversary Duelist Ball. I think you guys can see that 20th anniversary stamp over here. And uh, yeah, it's like a beautiful Starlight Rare, but I just like the OCG Starlight Rares, I think a little bit more. They're not like in your face, but they're still kind of like Starlight Rarity, if that makes sense. But it's that rarity and it's a PSA 10. God, this is at a really good price. I always knew I wanted to add this to my collection. Eventually, I'm going to get an Ultimate Rare Flame Wingman, a PSA 10. Eventually, and eventually in the future. That's really expensive though. But this card is just absolutely stunning. So these are really the only two hero graded cards I have at the moment. I haven't really graded a lot of the other hero stuff. Honestly, I don't want to send my own stuff to get graded because I want them for this binder. So I was just gonna have to buy in the future these uh, graded cards that I want, right? So then I wanna show you guys one more little thing that I'm gonna add to the collection that is still part of the collection. However, it's not part of the anime stuff. It's still GX though. And uh, I'm slowly starting a uh, GX manga collection, right? Or manga, I don't know how you guys say it. Uh, I say manga, but then sometimes when I say manga, people look at me funny. So then I say manga. And then when I say manga, people also look at me funny and they're like, bro, it's manga, it's not manga. So. Yeah, well, however you guys want to say it. Here it is though, real quick. I'm gonna show it to you guys. This is all the manga stuff. This is pretty much the most expensive card, I'm pretty sure, in it. It's the Gaia Secret Rare First Edition. This card's absolutely stunning. I think this card, just because of Edison, is really expensive. Otherwise, I have the Esquardo here, Ultra Rare. This is all, again, max rarity as well, right? Secret Rare over here, we have the Ocean ultra rare so this might add a couple hundred dollars to the collection as well here's a ocg ultimate rare chaos Neos. we never actually got this in ultimate rare in the tcg so uh, yeah it's just one of those pretty cards anyways this was just side stuff i just wanted to show you guys this stuff on the side that's it that's the gx collection honestly i'm just very happy with the way it's going i'm almost done really the hero stuff just the fusions are what i gotta get done first this card is honestly my favorite card of all time it's a card i'm never going to get rid of it's a card that i'm gonna like hold and just be fond of forever for the rest of my life. I may get this actually just slabbed up in the future, not even just like as a PSA card, but just in a slab where it's nice and protected and just, you know, have it in the background of my videos or something. Cause this card is absolutely stunning. It's my baby, it really is. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's it, that's, that's $14,000 right here in this binder. This is tuition. More than tuition and a binder. That's crazy. But thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX collection. If you guys want to see updates, let me know in the comment section down below. I love showing you guys the progress of this. Soon, and, I, and this is what I'm really happy about, is soon there's going to be a video where it's done, where it's finished. And when it's finished, it's going to be a great, great day. So thank you guys all for watching. None of this is possible without you guys. I'm going to be real. None of this is possible without you guys. So I really, from the bottom of my heart, I mean it when I say I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you guys all for supporting me. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. If you guys want to see more mail day stuff, more collection stuff, all of that stuff. It's going to be on the channel. We upload five days a week here on Spanko. Oh, man, I've said it a million times. and I'm going to say it again. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you all for watching. With that, Spanko signing out. Peace.